Hello there! Welcome back or welcome for the first time. This is my third pocket bullet journal flip through. I say flip through, it's more a sort of flip around because I don't want to bore people. So the structure is more or less. I'm going to flip through my monthlies and how I used my bullet journal to reflect each month based on my New Year's resolutions and of, for that year. I'm going to look a little bit at weeklies and how that developed as well. I might talk a little bit about the themes that I used in this bullet journal. It wasn't markers anymore so much. It was I was still using these Pelican Colorella mar kitties um, markers, top quality kitties markers, but I also used I started to use stickers for the first time, which is a bit of a rabbit hole as you know if you are watching this video which means you're probably a planner nerd and you already love stickers so that's a whole thing and then finally i thought it would be maybe useful for some people to show you how i how i tracked f my finances a little bit haphazardly in my bullet journal i think my system is slightly better nowadays but this is from 2018 so you may have noticed that I'm a person who absolutely loves things to be matchy 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 so this is a nice blue version of the pocket Leuchtturm hardcover so I had the purple one for bullet journal number two and this is bullet journal number three and it's this lovely blue and so at some point during this during this period I became slightly fixated I'm a fixated sort of person I became slightly fixated with the chinoiserie uh, European, I guess, 18th century, uh, what do you call this, the, the famous willow pattern. So I copied the whole thing here, even right up to the little boat and the little guys here. I find it fascinating how Europeans have processed their relationship with China and the, and the so-called Orient. <laughs> Forgive me for using that word. Um, so as with previously, I you can see I, well, I meta journaling, I'm planning what I'm going to plan. But as before, I used, I really did use the index and I found it really, really useful. Uh, and I liked that these Leuchtturm journals have a dedicated Inhalt page or section that's slightly longer because they know that we love an index. So we stayed with the matchy matchy blue theme. You start to see my first uh, products, product placement. This is from Little Rainbow Moon. It's not the most useful product placement because actually she has discontinued her stickers but she does do creative kits instead in which you'll find all kinds of lovely stuff like this. This is just one of my favourite quotes. This is from the, a book called The Huai Nan Si. It says, Bai Chuan Gui Hai, meaning the hundred rivers or all the rivers return to the sea. And I find that very nice. And that's my handwriting with a marker and then I've gone around it with a fine liner. Um, did my year at a glance again? Less elaborate this year, but I came along later when I was using another of Little Rainbow Moon's kits and I just put these coordinating cute little fishing boat stickers there. My birthday, very simple birthday um, spread this year with washi instead of anything too complicated. Got my, sh my master shopping list as before. Clearly, you know what works when you see that you're using it over and over again. My thought shelf got more elaborate this year in that um, I came up with this idea of why don't I prepare some boxes for me to put my thoughts into. So I did that and you, as you can see how full that was. Like before, I put the eight feast days of fake joke, self-ironic neo-paganism in there. And I had my school holidays and the reason I didn't have a full year of school holidays is that my last day at school was probably here. Uh, no, sorry, that's nonsense. Of course, this is the summer holiday. So it would have been the 20th of July because I had quit, which was very tragic, but also very good. So here's my line per day. I promised I'd go through monthlies, didn't I? Where's my, where have I even put my list of what I want to do? <laughs> it's stuck on the back. So, <clears throat> pardon me. I'll edit out my coughing, I'm sure. Or maybe I won't. So let's look at monthlies. So my monthly themes are 
kind of interesting to me anyway, because I'm very solipsistic in this uh, bullet journal, because this is where I slowly switched from my own drawings plus washi tape. I was actually kind of exhausted. I was too knackered to do proper decoration here, so that's why I resorted, resorted to washi tape. Of course, these days washi tape is pretty much all the decoration I do. Um, but I slowly transitioned to using stickers. This was my first kind of all Little Rainbow Moon themed monthly. So that was this beautiful June birds and English country garden type thing. Came with these lovely stickers. And my July theme. Now I've used so much washi in this one I can't even find my various my various monthlies. June seems like a good month to have things like garden spreads and garden themes in them. Here we are. So July was even more sticker heavy. I made a ton of mistakes and had to cover them up with weird random calligraphy and <laughs> smoke and mirrors there. But that was a, a beach and ocean theme, which was great because we were in fact having a holiday in the west of Ireland in this month, where of course you do not have traditional English style beach huts. The Irish would, never, would not be having with such a thing. But it does, the rest of it does kind of look like Ireland. Um, and then that was July. And then let me see how easily I can find August. August was a jungle toucan tropical bird theme from Joe at Little Rainbow Moon. And I adored it. I loved it. it made my weeklies so cute. Let me find some weeklies. I really liked this and I was surprised because this is not the sort of thing I would usually like. I think 2018 there was a real kind of <laughs> there was a real trend for sort of pineapples and rose gold and all that stuff. But this I felt was on the nicer end of that of that trend. In general it got a little bit tacky I felt. But I am a massive snob, so so that's my monthlies. What else did I say? Weeklies, I guess. What was I doing? I was. There's all kinds of funny stuff in here. For my weeklies, I mean, this journal filled up fast because I was doing so much journaling in, in various various languages and I was making lists, wish lists of consumerist bollocks that I wanted. Perfume, for Christ's sake. Excuse my language if you are offended by such. Um, but my weeklies were a joy because I developed this slightly wider spread where um, I spread out more, so I gave myself a nice big box to write in every week because I needed less space. You know, we're hitting, we're getting towards the holidays, so the summer holidays, so I needed less sp space for to do lists and whatnot. And I had a lot more this way, I just had a lot more room to think each week. I'm not saying it was a lot of room, I mean, this is still only what about four centimeters square each time. But that was how that developed. And then um, the stickers I've already talked about, they're from Little Rainbow Moon. They're lovely and the washi, most of this washi tape in here is also from her. Definitely go and give her a look because she's a small female owned UK business and she's just really nice and her stuff is really artistic. Um, and I was I was probably her biggest fan for for like a, a, over a year, and I still am. It's just that now I I just don't decorate as much, um, but I still think she's fab. Uh, I was still doing my my uh, line a day journaling, which was still extremely helpful. Uh, oh yes, reflections. So before I talk about finance, let me talk about how I did my reflections. These may be quite hard to find. I don't think I did one in May. Oh, apparently I was writing in. Tolkien Elvish script, so that was probably something shocking. It was so, so shocking I was writing in that. Um, uh, well, here's, the, here's what happened before I made the new boxes. You can see I was getting sick of this spread because I really just couldn't kind of be arsed. So I was, um, I was just doing, <laughs> just doing header lines and then this was all I did for my habit tracker. I actually enjoyed this. This was also quite a spacious way to do it. And as you can see, it was just enough space. I like it when you can see that a list hasn't quite finished the space, so you still have room. Your life has a, it looks like it has a bit more room. There's a bit of room to breathe. And then what I did with my habit tracker, which I haven't explained yet in any videos hitherto, is that if I did these things on a day, 
See, I haven't even marked like what they are or that these are the seven days of the week because why would I? I'm the only one using my bullet journal. Um, so if I did one of these things, whatever the habits of the week or the month, then I would go to one of my finance trackers if I find one that has been slightly censored. I mean, not that anyone cares. This was two years ago. Um, but I would then... Oh, where's it gone for this spread? Oh, okay. So on this one, I, I did it on my main monthly overview spread. So I would fill the jar with habit dots and then any that overflowed, I would spend on some nonsense in this case. And I always note it down. So in this case, some Labradorite earrings, which were jolly nice. <laughs> I should wear those actually. Uh, yeah, so that's what I did every month. Um, what else? So, oh, reflections. I had four simple New Year's resolutions, which I, which I tried to stick to. And then for my reflections, you can't really tell here because it's slightly hard to read Chinese calligraphy, but this is like change, this is saving money, this is exercising, <laughs> lol, and this, although I did get better, and this is balance. So those were my four areas of kind of New Year's reflection. And um, yeah, so I would just write about how well I was doing in each of those areas. And... So I did that every month, pretty much. Um, yeah, well, there you can see the habit dots once again. This was quite a, it's quite a nice way to um, to track my various finances. So I tracked um, certain units of my savings, like just trying to save a little bit more. Um, not that you know, <laughs> not that it's easy with um, uh, being a teacher at the time. And um, uh, savings I tracked, but I, I realized that I wanted more room to make notes. I realized that actually a lot of my financial thinking and planning, such as it is, um, needs to be in word form for me. I'm not a big numbers gal, so actually just writing my thoughts and plans about what I want to achieve would be more useful. So, for example, here, I never even used this as a log. I just used it as like a, uh, to take notes about what my plans were or what I had what I'd managed to do that that month and then these were just my bills for the month now again I know I, I don't do this anymore instead I do a whole review a review I I predict my bills for the whole year at the start of the year so I've already done that for 2021 it's now November 2020 so I will predict it for the whole year just once split it with my partner and then um yeah whereas here I still lived with a housemate and so my bills really were just my own, so I kept them um, individual to me. And yeah, anyway, uh, I, my point is I don't do this every month anymore because uh, who's got time? And if you can do it another way, then that is better. Um, what else? Are to-do lists a mark of a very anxious person? I've decided not because I'm actually not that anxious, but I do love to-do lists. Here's another random use of miscellaneous use of the bullet journal. I was working on a translation project and I was, in order to force myself to read the bloody thing, I did two things. First, I forced myself to summarize the entire thing. So it kind of had six acts. Um, so I summarized it in six paragraphs here. And so just so that I had an overview of what the author meant, what he wanted, what he wanted to achieve, and therefore who the characters were. And that helped me give a better rendering in English. And then I also had to look up an awful lot of words. Actually, I guess that's not that many for a sizable piece of Chinese writing. But anyway, that was that was my new words. Some of them I really should have known or remembered from um, previous lives, but, but hey. And then suddenly, next thing you know, here I am planning a jewellery bag with little sections, instructions and stuff. I've always loved writing, uh, doing diagrams of things I want to make. I think I think at nearly 15 minutes that's probably enough. I've talked a little bit about my finance spreads and um, yeah, I just I just can't rec recommend, if you've never done any journaling before and you've never, or you've, you've never really been a big planner but you're looking for something that's both creative and gives you kind of control of your mental health, I just, what can I tell you, this, this system was just a lifesaver. The fact that my system has evolved now 
doesn't mean that I don't look back and think, God, that was useful. It was just so useful to have this one tiny, neat book in which to keep everything that my brain needed to rely on. So, yeah, I, it's just fabulous. And as my decoration, <laughs> as my decoration habits got crazier, it started to really pad out as well. So yes, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it was not too long and I will see you for my next, which is my fourth pocket bullet journal flip through of five in total. See you then.